Hello everyone, I'm the old guy and welcome back to my Let's Play of Fallout 2. This is episode 32 and we're in Broken Hills right now and I think I ran out of things to do in this town. Let's take a look here. All we have left is fix the miner's air purifier. They will not let us into the mine. So we have to fix our air purifier and the only hint we have is to go to New Reno. So let's do that. Before we go, though, I want to check out the general store here and see if she's restocked herself or not. Still have things to sell. Now what? I'd like to buy something. You want to buy something? Fine. This is what I've got. All right, let's see. What does she have? She only has... Nah, she doesn't have much. She doesn't have much. How much for this? 800, yeah. Now oh, we've got enough of that. We've got a ton of healing. We're looking pretty good, actually. Let's hit the road. Thanks. What else are you going to bother me with? Thanks. See ya. All right, I think it's time to go. Let's get out of here. I'm going to do a quick save right here, just in case I get destroyed by some random encounter. All right, here we go. All right, so we have to go to New Reno. Let's go here now be interested to see a random encounter to see how we fare now just to see i wonder oh we're gonna get one we've got a pack of dogs oh, oh i wonder do we have enough to kill these guys i want to get over top be able to do it i don't think uh, Vic is in the way. Let's go here. There we go. Ouch. One's dead, two are dead. This is looking all right. We're gonna be able to do this. Oh, fixed down. doing much to me critical miss dead another one's dead Getting chewed down. Let's go after this one again. That one's dead. That one's dead. Another one's dead. We got three left, I think. This one. Another one's dead. One left. 
There it is. 660 experience. Not bad. We have here. Fine clay pot. Plant. Remains of a dog. Trash. There's a bed. There are a rug. Boxes. Is that it? Looks like that's it. All right, let's get out of here. I don't think anybody's too hurt. Actually, hold on. Before we do that, I'm going to do another quick save just in case. All right, let's go. Wouldn't mind doing some more of those type encounters. Oh, we make it there. Perfect. Let's check it out. It looks like we're here at night. We have the cat's paw sign. Cody's out front. Schleb. Lots of names right off the bat. Jules here. Interesting. Holy cow, there's gunfire in the background. Uh-oh. Prostitute. Pimp. Crazy. Oh, there is an introduction here. Welcome to New Reno, the biggest little town in the world. Trash can fires and neon signs bathe the city in a hellish glow. Cool. Ooh, a big casino. Desperado. Awesome. Awesome. We got here some hyperactive junkies. Oh, check that out. Reno, the biggest little city in the world. The entry side to New Reno. So this isn't even New Reno. This is just the outskirts of it. Oh, that's cool. Let's go into this place here. I want to check this out. Bouncer. Casino inside. Stupid tribals. Holy cow. Little Jesus. Mordino. Mordino's men. Mordino's men. It's kind of hard to see in the nighttime. Let's go talk to the bartender here. Let's talk to this little Jesus Mordino. Huh? Something you want, amigo? Who are you? Me? If you gotta ask. Hey, name's Jesus. Jesus Mordino. Same as my dad. He's the big Jesus, head of whole Mordino family here in Reno. So most call me Lil Jesus. Prevents confusion, you know? Family Mordino? Who are they? Family Mordino? You've been taking too much jet, Holmes? We Mordinos run new Reno. And Redding, too. Sounds like the Mordinos have a bright future. Say, I had some questions. Yeah? What is there to do around new Reno to relax? The Desperado is the place to be, Holmes. We got the jet, the games, the action. And we got all the putas you need right outside, wet and willing. Paradise, Holmes. Paradise. Got it. I had some other questions. Something on your mind? I don't really know if I want to work for the Mordino family or ask them. I'm going to maybe ask them later. See if we can barter with them. Doesn't want to barter. Never mind. Catch you later. Let's get out of there. I'm not too sure. I want to get my bearings before 
I do anything. Let's get out of there. I don't see if there's any... That will be coming back for sure, I think. Let's go talk to these named ones here. Sh Sheb? Nothing. Death Claw Booty? Yeah. I don't want that. Welcome to the glittering city of New Reno, my brother. Who are you? Name's Jules, and I would be most pleased to make your acquaintance, show you around, and set you up with whatever you're looking for. Look, Jules is it? You obviously expect something out of this conversation, so level with me up front. What are you looking for? I'm looking for people like you coming into Reno. This is the prime spot to deal. Plus, certain establishments pay me to point newcomers their way. That a good enough answer for you? Yes. Now I need the answer to some other questions. I can get you anything you need, brother. If you need to fly, get high, slide down low in a luscious hoe, Jules knows where to go. Question is, I gots the treasure, so what's your pleasure? Can you tell me a little about New Reno? Can Jules tell you about New Reno? Hell, yes. First thing you should know, Reno's ruled by four families, Mordinos, the Salvatores, the Bishops and the Wrights. Each of them got a slice of the Reno pie. Tell me about the families. Well, now, another thing you gotta know about New Reno is nothing's free. If it is, examine the merchandise. Hmm. He wants us to pay for some information. Let's give him 100 bucks here. So, which of the fine families interests you today? Tell me about the Mordino family. The Mordinos are a two-headed beast, friend, and each head's named Jesus Mordino. Go on. There's the father, Big Jesus Mordino, and the son, Lil Jesus, and both are the meanest sons of bitches you ever met. Used to be slaves here, but they turned the tables years ago and carved out their own little empire. How big is their empire? They own the Desperado just down the street. Can't miss it. They also got the biggest supply of jet and all in New Reno. So if you got the urge to fly. Speaking of which, do you know where I can get some cams around here? Brother, you need look no farther than Humble Jules himself. I got it all, and if I ain't got it, you don't want it. Shall we get down to business? Okay, so he is selling stuff here. We're going to ask him about that a little later. I want to learn more about the crime families here. Not right now. I have some other questions. Sure thing, sure thing. I got the treasure, so what's your pleasure? Can you tell me a little about new Reno? Reno's got four families, Mordinos, Salvatores, Bishops, Wrights. Each of them got a slice of the Reno pie. Tell me about the families. Oh, he wants more money. Let's give him another one. Let's ask about the Salvadors. We know about the Mordinos now. Quiet bunch. They're led by Louis Salvatore, an original gangster getting on in years. Their territories on the west side, their cribs this bar called Salvatore's on 2nd Street. Don't be making trouble there. Why not? Some free advice. You see a Salvatore, keep your head down and mouth shut or they'll cut you in two. They got the best firepower this side of CA, so nobody with any kind of sense messes with them, understand? What kind of firepower do these Salvadors have? Pistols, except they shoot light. Now, Reno's a city of lights, but the light those pistols shine can cut a man in two. Swap, makes a clean burn between the two halves, it does. They shoot light. Do they call the pistols laser pistols? Well, uh, I don't really know. 
I ain't sure what you're talking about. But take my word for it, don't go asking the Salvatores about those pistols. They have this twitchy habit of killing people who are curious. Did they always have these pistols? They didn't always have them, else they'd be in charge in New Reno, all of New Reno. As it stands, they're just building up quietly. Those pistols showed up, maybe a few months back, round the time of the massacre. Massacre? Oh, yeah, two Salvatore boys with those pistols killed a bunch of Bishop's men, then shot down some of Mordino's boys who'd been trying to muscle in on the west side. Since then, the other families steered clear of the Salvatores. Any idea where they're getting these pistols from? No idea, friend. I ain't asking, and you shouldn't neither, take my advice. You looking for weapons, there's other, safer, places you can try. Like where? You want weapons, you go see my man Eldridge on the west end. He got stuff that'll kill people you ain't even met yet. Tell him I sent you. I see, say, I have some other questions. Oh, he's gonna make me pay again, I bet. Can you tell me a little about New Reno? Tell me about the families. All right, I'll pay you the 100 chips. Let's talk about the Bishop family next. Ha. Huh. John Bishop? Not much to say. Bishop's a smart one, tough, and he's looking to get it all. Where's his territory? He hangs out at the Shark Club up on 2nd Street. He's surrounded by guards, so don't go paying a visit unless you got real business with him. And keep your business away from his wife. And his daughter. Uh, business? You know what I mean, brother. Just stay away from them too, lest the thought of being on Bishop's list is something you like. Uh, tell me some more about the families. And he wants another one. Okay, let's pay him one more time. This time we want the uh, Wright family. The Wrights? Hey, the Wrights are the only family who are family. The other families, see, they got mercs and tumbleweeds for muscle, but the Wright family is the Wright family, understand? Their family? How many are there? Almost 20 or more true-blooded rights. Mean as spit and each of them uglier than the next. What do the rights control in New Reno? They ain't got no casino, they mostly deal in alcohol and sell it to the other families. So if you're looking for hooch, they hang out in the east side of town in a big mansion. I had some questions about New Reno. I think we found out about all we need to know about the families right now. I think we know where to buy weapons on the west side. I'm looking for supplies. You need some supplies? Well, you can go see Renesco up on the west end, but here's the catch, don't buy no drugs from him, cause they ain't safe. He's got supplies all right, but if you want drugs, talk to me. I'll keep that in mind, say, I had some more questions. I'm looking for a Garden of Eden creation kit. Garden of Wa? That's some kind of drug? What does this garden thing do? Get you high? Never mind. I really better get going. Let's see if we can... Let's barter with him. Bro, I see he's only got a few... Some stim packs. How much? 1500 How much is this? Eight. Jet, I don't want jet. We're gonna leave here. We don't need these, I don't think. We will go we will come back for this. Never mind, I really better be going. 
All right. Let's talk to... We've talked to him. Talk to this person. Let's wait until morning here and take a good look around. There's a to morning right here. Cool. NCR posters. Junkie place. Cool sign. Look at that. Hmm. Let's go into this place. We have a hyperactive junkie. You want some of this? I don't. You want some of this, huh? All right. These are just junkies in here. Let's go see, is this a brothel here? Let's go check it out. It looks like one. Yeah, the cat paw girls. Cat paw girls, yeah. We'll stay out of there. We're gonna stay out of there. See a cam dealer. Holy cow. Let's go into this part. What do we have here? Jungle gym. Golden globes. Horn. Interesting. Salvador's, that's the bar that they were talking about. Sharks Club right here. Where's the weapon shop? It's an exit. There is a spot over here. Let's look around here for now. The Golden Globes. Holy cow. This is a big place. What we have here? See a sign. Another ruin. New Reno Arms. Look at that. Interesting, interesting. There is a lot to explore here. That's an exit there, For but for now, let's go over here. Let's check out the store. I still have weapons and stuff I need to sell. I'm looking for armor and a better knuckle. Let's talk to Eldridge. Welcome, Mr. Eldridge is the name. You in the market for some iron to fill that holster of yours? Depends on what you're selling. Here at New Reno Arms, we have the latest personal protection devices needed to stop any yellow-bellied Sinovibich dead in his tracks. I don't know if you can help me. I'm looking for something special. Oh, we got us a discriminatant customer. Well, at times, some prize pieces do make their way through town. Take this, for example. Genuine pre-war tech. In it something? Uh, it's something, all right. Can I take a look? It's a complex circuit board. A memory chip is set into it, and a number of computer connections are on the side, including an input and output. Printed on the board is, Vault Tech Voice Recognition Module. 
Vault tech. This has to be important. How much? 3,000 bucks. Take it or leave it. Uh, that's a little steep. How about 1,500? Oh, I think he refused us. Let's talk to him again. Hello again, friend. What can I do for you? Jules told me to come here if I was looking for weapons. Jules sent you my way, huh? About time that lazy bastard did his job. So what can I do you for, mister? Can I see what you have in stock? Tommy gun, crazy. Anything good in here? Oh, not really. What kind of money do you have? None? Leather armor, yeah. Not too good. Not too good. Hmm. We aren't going to trade anything with you. I'm very disappointed in that. Can I see what you got in stock? Let's check again here. Does he... Yeah. No. Hmm, that's not what I'm looking for. I was hoping to sell some stuff, but it doesn't look like he's got any money, really. He just trades. Hmm. Nothing today, thanks. Ah, I'm hoping for a, some sort of power fist or maybe a spiked one. Oh, I wonder where I find that. Well, we're in New Reno now, and we're going to explore it in the next episode. So thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you soon.